Well, the highly anticipated 26th annual Screen Actors Guild Award nominations are in. Astrid and the ATL is back to break down the nominees. Take it away, Astrid. Yeah, well, the SAG Awards are often seen as the road to the Oscars. And coming off the heels of the Golden Globe nomination announcements just this week earlier, the 2020 SAG Award nominations really has pushed this competitive divide even deeper. I'm gonna need clarification on this space invasion. Award season is tough. You're either in or you're out. Are you an actor? No, I'm a star man. So who's in the race this year? Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Martin Scorsese's The Irishman, and the movie Bombshell dominate nods on the film front. Netflix led all studios with 20 total noms, in TV, it's HBO with 10 nominations and Amazon with 7. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon leads the pack. Well, I've been in it a long time. You don't often get these opportunities, especially as a woman. A surprise SAG snub goes to Kathy Bates. My son saved people's lives. Earlier in the week, Bates scored a Golden Globe nom for Best Supporting Actress in the movie Richard Jewell. In the film, Bates stars as the mother of the real-life Atlanta security guard who was unjustly persecuted for bombing the 1996 Olympics. I spoke with the Academy Award winner during the Atlanta red carpet premiere. But if you had to say anything to the Golden Globes not nominating any female directors? Y'all, come on. Uh, Y'all get with it, okay? <laughs> but I do love them. We're going at war with these people. Snubbed from the SAGs and the Golden Globes for lead actor are both Robert De Niro in The Irishman and Adam Sandler for his role in Uncut Gems. Jason! Jason! Where were you? Fans were livid when Lupita Nyong'o didn't pick up a Golden Globe nomination <laughs> for pulling off double duty in the movie Us, but she did pick up a SAG nomination. Our kids are in danger. They need to end this. And we can't forget to mention the Georgia-based hit show Stranger Things also received the SAG nomination. Now how this plays out into the Oscars race was well, still unclear because in the past the Academy nominations usually repeats the SAG mm -hmm. nominations. So we shall see. And sometimes they come out of surprise. If yeah. You don't get nominated for a Golden Globe, you don't get nominated for a SAG, and all of a sudden, here you are, Academy Award nominee. So we'll see. <laughs> the 2020 Screen Actors Guild ceremony takes place January 19th. For a full list of all the nominees, mm -hmm. you have to go to CBS 46, click on the Astrid and the ATL tab. Wow, yeah. it really is award season. I know. Like every day we're learning about new nominations. <laughs> exactly. Bob Bottom line is there's so much content out there yes. with the streaming services. I mean, mm -hmm. it's nonstop quality. And so many movies coming at you. Sometimes if the movie came out earlier in the mm -hmm. year, when it comes to screening time, people forget about mm -hmm. them. I know I belong to a group where we screen movies and Lupita Nyong'o, people didn't even vote for hers. Mm -hmm you know, many of our members because it was just, you know, so distant right. in our memories about it. and there's so much content. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why they pushed out those screeners mm -hmm. to make sure that we get reminders of mm -hmm. who did what during this year. All right, Astrid, thanks, thanks very much.